Born in 1942 in Vietnam, Thai Nok, best known for being awake for 40 years, well, that's what he claims. But any health official would tell you obviously something that we know already, sleep is vital to our growth and development as human beings. So how is it possible that Thai was able to live so long without getting any sleep since 1973 when his extreme case of insomnia kicked in? Like, I'm literally just getting tired trying to figure this one out. The full story is coming up next. My name is Leroy Kenton, and you guys really want to stay awake for this episode of FTD News in History, sponsored by Best Fiends. The game Best Fiends is a sponsor of this episode, and I've been losing a ton of sleep playing this game too much, and I'm not just saying it because they're the sponsor. I I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Now this game, Best Fiends Forever, is the newest in the Best Fiends trilogy. If you're familiar with a Best Fiends game, it's got all the same characters, except this one is completely different. Just let me show you, really. Okay, what I love about this one is like, it's, it's so simple, like, it's basically you click and everything is done just by clicking. You can explore different worlds and all that. Like right now I'm killing uh, these uh, slugs here. As you go through the game, you can collect coins and with the coins you can power up. Your, your fiends learn new abilities and all of that. So like the game starts off pretty simple, but it gets really, really hard. So you like, you have to power up. I love RPGs. So whether you love uh, RPGs or adventure games, just simple clicker games, this one, you definitely love it. I'm telling you, like it's addictive and I'm not even joking. Also, one of my favorite features about this is that when you got no time to be playing the game anymore, actually your team is there fighting, killing slugs for you. And when you come back, you see like a ton of coins. So you're like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The guys are fighting for me even when I'm not playing the game. But yeah, do yourself a favor. You can download it. I have the link to that down below. It's free. So whether you're an Android user or an Apple user or whatever, you can grab it down below. And yeah, you can thank me later. All right, so back to our story. Now, it's reported that Thai Nok, who's a Vietnamese farmer, he got his fever back in 1973. And since then, somehow he was not able to fall asleep again. He's tried tons of medication and yeah, even sipping a bit of alcohol. No, that doesn't work. But he says that the lack of sleep doesn't affect him physically. He's still able to do his farm work and a lot of heavy labor. Now, according to the doctors who examined him, they said that he is in completely good health, except for a little bit of issues with his liver, but that's pretty Pretty much it. Now in 2016, he spoke to the Ta Nian News, which is a Vietnamese news company, and he said, I don't know if the insomnia has impacted my health or not, but I'm still healthy and I can do the farm work normally like others. Is this actually possible? Seriously. And guys, yeah, let me know down below in the boom box, how long have you gone without sleep? I've gone for two days without sleep, and let me tell you, I was pretty much a walking zombie. I would have just died if I didn't fall asleep. But yeah, I can't even imagine 40 years without sleep? Now, according to one doctor, Dr. Wadwa, he said that some insomniacs lack the ability to clearly recognize the difference between sleep and being awake. Now, this is the actual quote. The subject may feel they are merely resting when in actuality, they are sleeping. They also may be having micro naps, very short naps lasting just minutes. Sleep state misperception, SSM for short, also known as paradoxical insomnia or pseudo insomnia or even subjective insomnia, refers to anyone who mistakenly believes that they are actually awake when in fact they're sleeping. So they just assume that they either never slept at all or slept very little. Now scientists have yet to fully analyze and study his case completely, but in the meantime, Ty just continues to do his farm work and the time that he's supposed to be sleeping when everybody else is sleeping, he does extra work. Now I've seen various reports saying that you can go three days without sleep, some people can go almost two weeks without sleep. I guess it really depends on the person, but if this man has been awake for 40 years as he says, could it be that this is just something new that doctors haven't fully discovered yet? Either that or he's a good liar. Like, really. Well, that concludes this episode of FTD News and History. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. And let me know your thoughts about this below in the comment section. And stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, I'm Leroy Kenton. Boom. Out. So you guys still awake? Well, if you made it to this point, obviously, I'm glad that this video didn't put you to sleep. Well, check out some other videos before you go. Here's a story of one girl that was raised by dogs. Her brain actually changed where she began to do everything like a dog. Pretty interesting. Or for something a little bit more shocking, let's say, how about this one on the five worst amusement park accidents? This one is pretty intense. I'm warning you from now. See you in another video.